tuzidi kutazama tu runinga zetu kuna playback Jesus Christ name hey! Moto, 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 all over, fire all over, fire all over, fire all over. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lift her, lift her, lift her, lift her. I command God's mercy be released. Be released. Every stagnation, every chain of darkness, every power of evil. Go. Fungua your picture. Alikuwa amefungua. Let her. Open, open the picture. Fungua your picture. Nani huyo? This is my husband. What is the problem? We separated eight months ago. Separation of eight months. Weka hiyo picha kwa kifua yako. Your husband has come back. Hiyo ndoa imerudi tena. In Jesus name. Thank you. God. Tumshangilie Bwana Yesu kwa makofi, makofi, makofi mazuri dada yetu anapokuja kushuhudia. Karibu sana my sister. Hapa ni the synagogue Kenya. Tueleze majina yako na umetoka wapi? Tizwell Church. Kwa majina naitwa Jen na kwa hiyo clip umeona It was on Sunday kwa prayer partner. Nimekuwa kwa separation from April. My husband just picked his clothes na akaenda. Akaniacha kwa nyumba na watoto. It has not been easy, but let me say nime survive through the grace of God. I have a child in class 5. I've never paid even a cent. Mtoto wangu hajaifukuzwa. God has been my husband ever since. I've never slept hungry. God is good church. Amen, amen, amen. My sister, unaweza tuelezea maybe briefly what happened? What cost maybe your husband aondoke mligombana ama ilikuwa namna gani? Actually atukugombana, I don't know what happened. Sikujua. Sikujua nini ilifanyika na yeye. He just picked his clothes akaenda. So when alienda sikuwa imuongelesha but it has not been easy but mi Kenya nashukuru Mungu ni venye ameni hold ever since he went venye Mungu amekuwa kini hold from my kids from the way I've survived it has been God that is hiyo ndio kitu wenye nafurahia Mungu hako yeye niachilia wapendwa hata mume akikuacha let God be your husband you'll never lack you'll never feel lonely Amen amen you'll never lack you'll never feel lonely. Hebu my sister mume wako alipoenda ni hatua gani labda ulichukua ulijaribu kutafuta mume mwingine ama ilikuwa namna gani? <laughs> okay. Sija wai fikiria kutafuta mume mwingine but let me tell you when the husband husband wako akienda it's like shetani anakuangana tu amefungua njia ingine. You start getting some proposal but when you stand firm in God you won't fall into temptation. Amen. And ulijaribu labda kutafuta mume wako kwa njia ya simu ama utake kujua ameenda wapi at some point ilikuwa nampigia nikimuuliza school fees ya so and so aongee ananyamaza mm-hmm. so nilikuwa tu nakaa na Lia anambia Mungu just make a way natafuta school fees napeleka mtoto akienda wakikuja mita mnaambia mtu alipewa makatasi za school fees sikupewa akasoma the hiyo tamia ya kwanza akasoma ya pili hata hii nililipa only 4000 balance ya 6000 nilikuwa ni clear ananiambia hakupewa hiyo form na watu walifukuzwa hata wenye walikuwa na 1000 nikasema tu hiyo ni Mungu aliingililia wow yes let us appreciate god na now from the clip that we have watched from last sunday now what happened after the man of god prayed for so you? the man of god said kama uko na hitaji weka mbele ya Mungu i actually didn't have his picture niliingia online nikaingia facebook nika save picha yake so nikasema wacha nitumie hii picha nisikie Mungu anasema ni if it is not my marriage i move on if it is my marriage then again i'll go back to it so man of god akaomba kaniambie nikaelee picha kwa kifua separation of eight months weka hiyo picha kwa kifua yako 
your husband has come back hiyo ndo imerudi tena in jesus name thank you let me tell you <laughs> he came back on monday 9 <laughs> Hallelujah 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 kama ambia jitani yako kama kitu ni yangu ni yangu hakuna mahali naenda so my sister what happened mtu tu alikuja from nowhere akaingia kwa nyumba yes i was in my business he called me hi hi funguza nyumba ziko wapi nikwambie niko nazo haya nitumanishie so nikafunga duka nikampelekea funguo alirudi nyumbani amenikuwa nyumbani from monday up to today he's, he's been sleeping in at home my thank god wow glory 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 unto this jesus na kama mke ambaye amengangana miezi nane akifanya vitu zake bila usaidizi haukuwa na ile machungu ile bitterness huyu mtu ameniacha and he's coming from no i was bitter siezi i was bitter aha nilikuwa naambia mungu tu hata kama hanitaki it's okay because god is my husband but at least akumbuke watoto akuwa na support watoto that is the only thing i wanted god to do but since kama it was the will of god for him to come back i take him back no problem wow 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 and have you forgiven this man maybe for the trauma alikuweka for those last eight months i did i did forgive him wow and now how is the relationship now from monday up to now how is the relationship the relationship is good i thank god <laughs> wow you can see from her face she's happy she's glowing if you if you've been seeing her around in church hata amekuwa mweupe we thank god <laughs> and si ukaribishe mzee kanisani at least pia yeye apate apate kuona mkono wangu okay, that is another prayer item i don't know how long it will take but i know god will do something so my advice is if you are not married let me tell you if you are a lady and you are not married ukiona uko na mwanaume wa kidunia run away run away if you want to get married make sure you are getting married to someone who is born again i didn't know this before okay if you see a man who is not born again run away for your life one last advice to the we have a lot of women here who are bitter they have been facing challenges they have wrong choices of partners what word of advice can you give them kuna wanyo wanangojea tu wazee wao wakuje but they are very bitter they are not willing to forgive they are not willing to take them back just give them a piece of advice okay first when you, when your husband has left make god your husband the first thing make god your husband make god your mother make god your father he provides He gives you the love unconditional love. Eh? Secondly, if your husband has if he's if he's yours, he will indeed come back. So keep the faith, keep praying. Wanawake ni kuombea ndoa. It has not been easy. Although sometimes you feel bitter even you can't mention his name while praying, just try. God will make a way. Hallelujah. Let us appreciate God for this testimony. It is not by the way it is not easy as a woman to take back someone ambaye ameku hurt. Isn't it true isn't it true women? It's not easy but we thank God. She did not even ask where this man was from. Hakumuuliza ulikuwa umeoa ama ujaoa. If you have the real touch of God, your heart is always willing to forgive and swallow any bitterness that comes your way. So we celebrate together with you my sister. Continue loving this man, continue loving Even before loving this man continue loving God first and God will help you love this husband. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let us appreciate God for that testimony.